May 15th, 2008, Dunkin' Donuts is giving out free coffee. It's cool. I'm excited. I am, you know, not going to look a gift horse in the mouth, but I've been waiting for the opportunity to blog about um, some very interesting information about um, the process of making coffee and how possibly a, a combination from chloride and uh, dioxins, I believe, any sort of an organic compound from nature combined with chloride, is um, the elements of um, how they actually cause type 1 diabetes in lab rats. I know, I'm not, I don't want to look in, a gift horse in the mouth here, but what I am saying is that um, we may not realize it, but sometimes how we go about making certain things in the kitchen might actually um, kind of make things worse. So, I looked into it, I, I was hoping that it was some sort of a rumor, not true, urban legend type thing, but it is true. Um, it is something they do use to cause type 1 diabetes in, in lab rats and, and animals. So, um, I figured there's actually a safer way to make coffee so that in no way, shape, or form could it, you know, cause any sort of beta cell destruction. and. Quite simply, um, establishments that use filtered water to make coffee are actually making you a healthier cup of coffee rather than just any old tap water without filtration. I called three different places to find out if it's a standard across the board. I called McDonald's, I called Starbucks, and I called Dunkin' Donuts. Turns out that uh, McDonald's um, says because they're 85% franchise owned, they have no idea how coffee is made in each of their establishments. And so they don't have any sort of a standard across the board as to how they want their coffee made. But Starbucks, hands down, they say in every Starbucks they have a water filtration system in-house. So the water that they use to make the coffee is in fact um, filtered, chlorine free, they're good. As well as Dunkin Donuts, I called headquarters and they also said that they use filtered water. They couldn't tell me what sort of filtration system they use, but they said, uh, yeah, we do, we do use filtered water for our coffee. I hope that's true. <laughs> if you go into a Dunkin Donuts, ask them, what kind of filtration systems do you guys have anyway? But. Uh, I did get the free coffee. <laughs> Very cool. You know, it would be awesome now if I could go into, say, a Starbucks or a Dunkin' Donuts now. I get my healthy cup of coffee, and I get a, you know, a, a snack jam-packed full of fiber. I don't really see any sort of fibrous or high-fiber snacks going on in, in those places, and certainly, what about a high-fiber donut? That would be awesome. That would be good stuff. You know, you don't have to feel so bad, but then again, you know. They'll find, they'll find something that people like. I know Dunkin' Donuts is infamous for their donuts, and Starbucks, you know, it's just like this much whipped cream on top of each drink, but hey, you know, everybody's got its own alluring type thing. Anyway, do you know about other places you can go and they actually, you know, have filtered water when they make their coffee? It may not seem very important. I mean, I've already got autoimmune diabetes. I've had type 1 for 23 years. It doesn't really matter. It's not like if I drink coffee without filtered water, it's going to make me get diabetes. I already got it. But the fact is, is that those of you that don't have diabetes already, you know, there are little things you can do that might help, you know, prevent any sort of progression toward the disease. There's just, there's no need for it, right? Anyway, sure. If you know about other places to filter water, that would be good news, right? Well, thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, please subscribe at Allie'sVoice.com. I'm Allison Love Beatty, and I'll see you next time. Bye.